Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now in today's video, I teach you how to be a hero. What is it? <gasps> no! You got me a heated vest? <laughs> really? You go. I want a heated vest, thank you! <laughs> <sighs> yep, that's right. It's that easy. If you have a family member, a best friend, a partner, or even your enemy, everybody loves heated apparel. In today's video, we are going to look at a couple of fantastic options from the company Venustis. So here I have a Venustis jacket, my wife taking a look at a Venustis vest. What I can tell you is, well, heated apparel, it definitely has its place. It's not a solve all for those really cold days, but I can tell you it's just nice. Takes the edge off. Feels really good, and with today's battery capabilities, they're actually pretty efficient, give you good runtime, and generally speaking, some very nice options. And Venustis doing a fantastic job. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna take a look at these in detail, both this jacket and the vest that my wife was wearing. Couple of great options, really nice apparel, well made, beautifully featured, everything about these just awesome. So with that, when we come back, we'll go through all of the details, but with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. Now, before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Venustis who did provide these for review. And so now, as we get into the details with the Venustis heated products, keep in mind the fact that Venustis does have men's and women's models available. They also have accessories, things like, for example, heated gloves and spare batteries if you need them. In this particular case, we are looking at the women's heated down vest with detachable hood. This is a 7.4 volt version, so a great battery, nice and capable, lots of battery life in this particular model. So as we go through the features, you can see very well crafted, nicely made, again with that detachable hood working out very well, has the ability to leverage just a very simple little bit of Velcro here, but this is a well made and very nice down vest. This does end up with some nice soft pockets and it ends up with four different heating zones. So each one of the pockets are heated, the lower back and the upper back are heated. You can see as you take a look at the zipper, it does have an interior baffle, just nicely constructed. Again, everything about this just beautifully done. Everything trimmed out the way it needs to be in a nice overall presentation. You can see it did come very well packaged, very clean. Pretty simple, all things considered, but what I do like is because this is down, well, this does come in a water-resistant case, which is awesome. So if you're going to be packing down, you do need to be generally careful, especially if you're gonna get it wet because down will lose its thermal value once it's wet. So having the waterproof bag, I do have to say, is a nice and simple accessory, yet at the same time, very effective. Simple little user's manual goes through some of the details. Actually very nicely done, pretty straightforward, but at the same time, nice little manual. Talks about the different heating modes if you want the details. But again, keep in mind this is a 7.4 volt version, so a nice large battery. Comes with the recharging cable, the charging brick, and everything that you're gonna need to get going. This is a fairly heavy battery, but at the same time where it sits in the pocket, it's not too big of a deal. It doesn't weigh you down too much and it's not too overly bulky. But the nice thing is this can also be leveraged as a power bank. So if you wanna charge your cell phone, you can definitely do that as well. So a nice little bonus, just a cool feature. So dual purpose, again, not only heating the vest, but able to charge your cell phone. Here we have the men's heated canvas jacket. Again, a 7.4 volt version. This is a fantastic offering with five heating zones, two on the chest, two in the pockets, and one on the back. This is a nice option for somebody who likes kind of that Carhartt style. Again, a canvas jacket's going to be a nice quality, durable shell. So a canvas shell with a polyester lining. This is a very comfortable jacket, and I do have to say, it fits me very, very well. I am typically a size large, and this jacket is a size large. It offers a nice blend 
of comfort yet durability at the same time. Now, Venice, this doesn't necessarily specify, but I do feel as though this has a water resistant coating. It has been in the rain and has actually worked out pretty well to repel the water. Generally speaking, pretty straightforward. You can see nice features, the ability to stash the battery on the inside, plug everything in, no problem. Great zippers, again, just a nice, simple, basic look, but it does what it needs to. Simple cuffs in all areas. And again, a nice blend between a recreational jacket and a work jacket. As I try it on, again, keep in mind the fact that I'm six foot one, about 175 pounds. Usually I struggle with arm length, but in this particular case, the size large Venistas jacket fitting me literally perfectly. Nice zippers, good in quality, fitting well, just a good, comfortable jacket. I do have to say this is not my typical style, but this works very well for me, and I'm definitely coming to like this quite a bit. You can see as I stretch out my arms, this does fit extremely well. The pockets feeling good, having a nice soft liner. The hood doing what it needs to. A little bit of adjustability, not a ton, but enough that you can kind of cinch things down. And all in all, just a really nice look. I do have to say that this jacket has a fantastic fit. Literally, absolutely perfect for my body shape. But when it comes down to it, you end up with some accessories. So again, a 7.4 volt battery. Nicely packaged and a great presentation. Comes with your USB charging cable, the power brick, and everything you need to get this jacket up and running. Little user's manual, everything about this pretty straightforward, all things considered. Now you can also leverage this as a bit of a charging brick if you would like to. So again, dual purpose, not just necessarily to power your jacket, but you can also power additional accessories if you so choose. This particular battery having a digital readout, which is very nice. But as we get into it here, well, just some very simple field use. You can see this is a size medium for my wife. So the medium vest fitting her well, just a little bit big in retrospect. We probably could have gone with a size small. Now, a few things that we struggled with, you can see just a real difficult time in the bright light, seeing whether or not this is actually on. What I can tell you is the minute you put it on, you absolutely can feel it. And when you take a look here, you can see this is in the high mode glowing red. So pretty straightforward in that regard. However, again, just a little bit difficult to see this when you're in bright light, but a good stylish and well-fitting garment, absolutely beautifully made. I like the style. My wife absolutely loving the vest, very comfortable. And for me, similar, trying to get the jacket up and running. Now, this is even a little more difficult to see. There's a thin line on the button that indicates what the power is, and it's really difficult to see. You have to shade it. You have to kind of block it with your hand and look at it to see whether or not it's actually on. So again, indicating the power, either with a blue, white, or red LED, and either one of them indicating the low, medium, or high modes. Now we've used these on a few different occasions. Here you can see just leveraging them to stay nice and comfortable at my kids' sporting events. That is something that I would say we absolutely struggle with our ability to stay warm, staying outside in the blustery cold hour after hour watching kids' sports. A lot of times it's windy, a lot of times it can be a little bit drizzly. So having nice warm garments is absolutely awesome. And you can see here, checking that LED from time to time after this has been running for quite a while, still at 87%, but that's a good thing because I have the rest of the day at sports to watch. Now, as I indicated, a little bit difficult to see that LED. I'm pressing the button here and it is changing modes. You can kind of see a little bit of a glow, but again, very difficult to see. But as the day wears on and as things kind of take place, again, just hour after hour, we did wear these for about three hours straight. No problem. You can see I did get rained on just a little bit, doing a nice job to shed the water. So a little bit of a water repellent. But all in all, again, after three hours, the battery's lasting very well. Wind resistance, fantastic. General comfort. I absolutely love it. But this is not only a casual jacket, you can absolutely get down to work with it. Now, I didn't exactly get this thing dirty, but I was absolutely wearing this for some of my projects, wearing it around the house and getting down to some good work. So the Venustis canvas jacket and down vest, I have to say we are absolutely thrilled. Very, very nice. And so, all right, guys, there you have it. A look at the Venustis jacket and vest. All in all, absolutely 
fantastic. Great performance overall. Now, a couple of suggestions. I find that I do struggle a little bit to see the lights when it's bright out. And that's a bulk of the time that I was using this. Not super bright days, but just bright enough outside that it was really hard to see the modes. So that really, for me, is something that could potentially be improved. Now, I don't know why on this particular jacket they went with the badging across the front. I think it could have been a little more low profile and simply put it on the button. Very similar to like they did here on the vest. I kind of like that. It's low profile, it's subtle, but not a big deal. That's just my personal preference. Now, all in all, I do have to say, I think that the heating worked well. It's not incredibly powerful, but again, it's enough to take the edge off. It's enough to feel good. And you can definitely feel it when it's working, especially in the high mode. You can feel it on your back and I can feel it in the pockets, which are the two main zones for the jacket and the same with the vest. Now, my wife did like this. She felt as though it was comfortable, maybe just a little bit big for her. She does tend to wear a size medium for women's. This is a medium. It was just a little bit on the big side. She probably could have got away with the small, but again, nice cut, great features, overall beautifully constructed, just very, very nice. In terms of the long-term durability, I can't really speak to that yet. How long are the batteries gonna last? I don't know. Will the elements wear out? I don't know. But in terms of the quality of the construction, very nice. I can say I like this jacket. It's a little bit like that Carhartt style. Not quite as premium feeling, not quite as thick, but at the same time, fairly soft, fairly quiet and it fits me extremely well. I love the cut of this. I think it just looks fantastic. And if I was to offer any other suggestions, just going down the line and adding more colors. At this point, we're limited to pretty much black in most cases. So adding colors along the way would be a great option depending on your liking. But as I mentioned, everybody likes heated apparel. If you like what you see here today, do me a favor, take a look in the description box below where I have more details, where you can find this awesome apparel and where you can get yourself something awesome either for you or for someone else. So, all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.